Wolf Pack. I'm Jody Guerrero. And I'm Tristan Lloyd. Today is Friday, September 25th, and we're here with your morning announcements. Attention juniors and seniors. Over the next three weeks, representatives from more than a dozen colleges and universities will visit CO. To attend a college presentation, you must sign up in the Career Center in advance. This is a great opportunity. You don't want to miss it. Attention all members of LEAD. If you want to participate in the homecoming parade representing the Latino Club, you need to attend a meeting on Monday the 28th after school in Senora Paredes' room HM1. Hey all you Ultimate Frisbee players, the Ultimate Frisbee Club is having its second game of the year this Monday from 3.30 to 4.30. Make sure you bring water, cleats or running shoes, along with a white and a dark shirt. Please direct all inquiries to Mr. McCurdy or Mrs. Lalonde. Are you interested in helping disabled children in developing countries? Stop by the Smile Maker Club's first meeting today from 3.30 to 3.50 in Mr. Sanchez's room, HM3. If you have any questions, please school with Serena Wong for more information. For seniors, float building runs through Thursday, October 1st. The schedule is posted on Ms. Dietrich's window, HM4. Students must work at least five hours to be in the float or on the spirit truck. Now let's hand it over to John and Nairi for your In the News announcements. Hey there, Wolfback. I'm John Timmons. And I'm Nairi Holmes, and we're here with your In the News announcements. House Speaker John Boehner announced to Congress on Friday that he would be resigning at the end of October. If anyone is questioning the decision, one would only need to listen to what Boehner and his fellow Republicans are saying. Many moderate Republicans in the House have, have been saying that Boehner has been becoming increasingly bombarded by members of Congress who have strong roots and ties to the Tea Party. Even though Boehner is a strong conservative, he said that he's been being pressured by the Tea Partiers to take some drastic measures that he and moderate Republicans argue have not worked in the past, will not work in the future, and will only serve to bring further negative approval against the party. Many moderate Republicans in the House are speaking out in strong disapproval of the Tea Party's tactics towards Boehner's leadership, while many conservative Republicans are applauding the decision as a chance to institute a new speaker with even stronger conservatism and more roots attached to the Tea Party. It is likely that many of us are prepared to dish out our cash to Apple once again as they are preparing to launch their iPhone 6S. Despite Apple's normal trend of just releasing bigger phones with better colors and other unneeded features, they actually made improvements to this model, such as the 3D touch feature that measures how hard you press for different shortcuts inside of apps, live photo that changes video into separate photos, Hey Siri, which is the same but hands-free, and most importantly is an image stabilization component that is of course only featured in the more expensive 6S Plus. However, the regular 6 and the Plus feature 4K shooting. Overall, the 6S is a step up from the regular 6, but it does not mean that you should get rid of your basically brand new iPhone 6. Well, that seems to be all we have for you today. Until next time, I'm Nairi Holmes. And I'm John Timmons. Back to you, Jody and Tristan. Sophomore float building will take place in HP4 from 3.30 to 6 today and Friday from 3.30 to 5. One thing you can plan on for sure is having fun, working hard, and showing your support for your sophomore class. If you are interested in playing softball in the spring, please come to a short informational meeting in Mrs. Betancourt's room on Wednesday, September 30th, right after school. Congratulations to the boys' JV soccer team. Yesterday, they won 4-0 against Bella Vista with goals scored by Dylan Yee, Tona Vick, Diego Haro, and Leighton Glynn. Good job, guys. Tomorrow, Monterey Trail High School will host an HBCU college fair from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Representatives from more than 20 historically black colleges and universities will be there. Bring copies of your transcript, your SAT or ACT test scores, and letters of recommendation with you to share with the college admissions counselors. Improv Night is today at 7 p.m. in the Black Box Theater. Tickets are $5 pre-sale and $6 at the door. Doors will open at 6.30 and early arrival is suggested. Did you know that as little as three teaspoons of blood can save a baby's life? Tuesday, October 6th is our next blood drive. You must be 16 years old and weigh 110 pounds in order to donate, as well as have a consent form signed by your parent or guardian. These forms will be at the blood drive table every day in the cafeteria for the next two weeks. Thanks for supporting our drive. Attention Key Club members, your annual trip to Six Flags is on Saturday, October 24th. It is now available for purchase in the student store for $45. Transportation and admission into the park and rally is included. There are only 18 spots available, so they will be distributed on a first-come, first-served basis. The PSAT will take place on Wednesday, October 14th. 
Juniors and freshmen must purchase their PSAT by the October 5th deadline. You can only purchase it on the COHS web store. Only sophomores will take the PSAT for free this year. Gee, I wish they did that two years ago. If you have any questions, more information on the PSAT is posted in School Loop News. To all you fashionistas, there will be a fashion club having their meeting today in HJ1 on Tuesday at 3.30. Attention all juniors, float building will be held Monday after school until 6 p.m. in Mrs. Henderson's room, HP2. Building will continue every day next week after school until 8 p.m. Thursday, you will need to stay until the float is finished. You must have worked at least five hours to be in the parade. Well, that seems to be all we have for you today. I'm Tristan Lloyd. And I'm Jody Guerrero. Remember, the strength of the pack is the wolf. And the strength of the wolf is the pack. Shout, Shout out, out to, to Rebecca, Rebecca Black, Black because, because it's, it's National, National One-Hit One Wonder Day, Day and, and because, because it's Friday. Friday.